What's up, YouTube? I've been working in my garage all day and um, sat down for a little while talking to Jesus and about some serious issues that people miss, the church misses, the ministry misses. And uh, before you knew it, the Lord uh, is it intercessing Spirit, the Holy Ghost. It's Jesus Christ, if you don't know, but He. Uh, in the midst of my prayers and my tears, he, his presence just bursted out of me with groanings. And it's his heartbeat because even though he's the Spirit of God, he's the everlasting Father, according to Isaiah, he's in that seat of intercessory, the high priest. He's He's intermediate between man and God in that position, in that in that realm. Even though it's Him that's doing the judgments, He's interceding with groanings and strong groanings, and He He overcame me, and it just it's over me. I still got tears wet. And I just wanted to talk about it because people don't understand this stuff. The church is missing it. They don't have prayer. Leadership, they're blind leading the blind most of the time, missing the heartbeat of God. And it's when you're sit quiet alone and you're having prayer, which the churches should be having every single day. It's these times when God can just come in and do something for the church. And I have to talk about it because it's on me now. It's just, just happened. It's his passion to intercede for his people. Okay? So I just want to encourage people. If you don't have prayer meetings, if you have any influence at all at your church, get some prayer meetings on. I know there's COVID, but so what? God can heal anything, anytime he wants. And he wants to see this desperation, this passion, this Prayers burst out. I saw it on Sid Roth the, yesterday. It was within the last couple of days, if not yesterday, straight up that there was about six or seven leaders, like a panel, and then they're, all they were doing was praying. And see, that's what God wants. He's trying to wake up the leadership. And they're doing it, but it's, it's so lacking. People are so blind. I'm talking about leaders. They're so blind to what the scriptures what Christ the leading of his Holy Ghost is telling the church to do and it's he just gave me all this revelation that I'm talking about right now okay and I'm just sharing it with you okay get some prayer meetings fired up and Terry don't be in a hurry and who gives a flip who's listening so what don't pray to be heard of people. Just sit down. And if you got stupid spirits, ask God to deliver you. But just, just get in that place and let God move through you and just relax in the Holy Ghost. You know, it, it doesn't have to be hot, fired, screaming prayers. It could be a cool drink of water on a hot day. You're just chilling with Jesus. You're barely saying three words. You're meditating for an hour. And he can move so powerfully. But then it's in other times. It's hot, fiery, passionate prayer. Where you're screaming. And you don't even give a flip. Who cares? Who can hear you? So what? You're not doing it to be seen a man. And if you are, just repent. That's just that stupid church stuff. That I hate. I hate that stuff. Show that faith. They hate it. God hates it. But you know what? Just get honest and real and have real prayer. Okay? God bless you. So that's all for now.